Sud Harim's a friend of mine. I want to thank you for saving him and his son. Dozens of people lie dead in the cathedral's rubble, including my father. I know I must carry on. Yet Archdruid Orlaith, she also took my mentor, the person I counted on my whole life. She murdered Raval. We must end Orlaith's madness. Somehow. Yeah, something in mind? I can't leave Vastir. Someone has to pick up the pieces, and that responsibility now falls on me. Find Druid Laurel. She needs to know that Archdruids Raval and Elec are dead. That Orlaith and the Firesong have the sacred seeds. What do you think uh, Archdruid Orlaith will do now? She told us as the cathedral collapsed. She's going to proclaim herself the new Druid King. But while she has the seeds, she still needs the sower. Free has a part to play in all this, but they'll need your help. Find them, friend. Keep them safe. All right, I'll go find uh, Drew Laurel and Free and tell them what happened. Laurel and Free remained at Glimmertarn to direct Stonelore stragglers and to avoid the fire song. Make speed, friend. If Archdruid Orlaith seeks the sower mentioned in the dream, both Laurel and Free are in danger. I can't bear to lose Laurel too. What is, why do you have, why do you have to stay in Vestir? As much as I want to confront Archdruid Orlaith at your side, I have responsibilities. I'm heir to my father's title and his duties. From this day forth, I must think of the people of Galen first. They need to see that House Mornard still stands. You know, uh, should we just keep free away from the Firesong Circle? Is there anywhere I can guarantee free safety? Archdruid Orlaith laid siege to Vastir to get the sacred seeds. She will come for free. I trust Laurel to make sure free isn't easy to find, but that puts Laurel in danger too. Yeah, but we just defeated the Dreadsails, and they're not coming back here, I'm pretty sure. And also, you're kind of worried about Druid Laurel, huh? Yes, of course. Laurel is a close friend. Not just a friend. I doubt Orlaith would harm Free. She thinks she needs the spirit. But we saw how Orlaith deals with anyone who interferes with her ambitions. I don't want to see Laurel share Raval's fate. Hmm. What caused the cathedral to collapse, anyways? Obviously, it had something to do with the quake we experienced, but why only one structure fell, I just don't know. It does show that the volcano is becoming more dangerous. Raval said it was because the Fire Song were neglecting their duties. What's the connection between the Fire Song uh, Circle and Mount Fire Song? Until recently, Fire Song druids rarely left Ephelon. They communed with Mount Fire Song's spirit, singing it back to sleep when it grew restless. Or so I was taught by the Stone Lore. They've always been secretive about their vigil on Ephelon. So why did Archdruid Orlith wake up the volcano? Mount Firesong has rumbled my entire life. I wonder if it was the stirring of the volcano that woke Orlith instead. The dream of Kasserine mentions the mountain. Perhaps it was the sign she was waiting for. Much ambition and she just read the signs being that, hey, I could be Druid King if I do it this way. A dark day. I knew Archdruid Orlith was dangerous. But I never imagined she'd inflict such reckless destruction on people who'd done her no harm. Was Vastir safe now? The Dread Sails are a spent storm, leaderless. I don't think they could muster another major attack. And the Fire Song got what they wanted. Archdruid Orlaith has the sacred seeds. But I think we're a long way from safe. What do you mean? I saw Firesong Druids sail off with Dreadsail's ships after Archdruid Orlaith buried allies and enemies alike. They had scores of captives aboard, people the Sea Elves captured during the attack. I can't help but wonder why Orlaith needs them. Hmm. She wouldn't capture the druids, but she might have captured the count. Please, I'm looking for Dame Feta. 
She was with the knights protecting the cathedral district during the attack. We're still sorting this all out. As soon as I have news about Dame Cleaver, I'll send word to you. I, of course, I understand. After the cathedral collapsed, I just want to know if she's safe. You're going to point to for us to know that, that they were there in that uh, collapse. of Vastir. Why are the spirits of the island in such distress? Um... The city is safe now. It's not a lie, it's safer now. The very spirits all around us cry out in fear and sorrow. Even Free says they sense a change in the sacred seeds. Tell me about the battle in Vastir. Is Stefan alright? I fear nope. something terrible has happened. Sir Stefan is fine. But Count Minorna and Archer Ravella and Elric are all dead. But hey, Sir Stefan's fine. Archdruid Raval is dead? I... I knew something had gone wrong. The spirits of nature that surround Glimmer Tarn were acting so strangely. But if the Archdruids are dead, what happened to the Sacred Seeds? Uh, Archdruid Orlith has murdered Raval and took the Elder Tide and Sterlard Seeds. Both. Blight and damnation. Free told me they sensed the seeds stirring, moving. I couldn't think of any good reason to account for that, and neither could Free. But what about Vastir? Does the city still stand? Uh, we defeated Sir, uh, Sea Lord Nalos and drove off the remaining dread sails. City safe for now. At least something good has come of all this. But poor Stefan. His father wasn't a friend to the Druids, but he mostly left us alone, unlike some of his predecessors. Free said they felt the seeds calling. Maybe they can help us track them down. Uh, when Orch Druid Orlith took the seeds, she said they're she was gonna become the new Druid King, so that's something. I have a new king. Yay. I knew this had to do with the prophecy, the dream of Kasserain. But for anyone to proclaim themselves the Druid King, even an Arch Druid, it's just unheard of. That isn't how it's supposed to work. Talk to Free. See if they still sense the seeds. That's like saying, like, hey, I'm going to be God now. But with the Archdruid Raval dead, who's going to lead the Stormlord Circle? Is that you? I... I don't know. And our other Archdruids died in the attack on the Dreyfa. At some mm -hmm. point, I'll need to send for an Elder or Archdruid from High Isle. But for now, we're on our own. In the meantime... I'll do my best to lead the way Raval taught me. That which dreamed through seasons uncounted now awakens. The sacred seeds sing to me. Together now, they find their voice. They tell me to come to them. Soon, I must answer. Uh, can you lead us to the sacred seeds? You do not hear their song? I hear it. Yes, I can guide you to the seeds. They are my purpose. I cannot be kept from my purpose. Bound. Yet, there is choice. What is your purpose? Uh, to stop Archer and Olith from and return the seeds to you? Oh, where are they, Free? In the direction of the rising sun. The point on the isle where that first happens. I will help you find the seeds and keep them safe until crown, staff, and gauntlet must flower. That time is soon. It is not for me to tell seeds not to grow. Let's find these seeds free. Go, friend. Toward the sunrise. Toward the song. I will walk with Druid Thoral. And we shall meet you by the sanctum of the last druid king, Ivyhame. Have you always been able to sense the sacred seeds? No. Before they were distant, quiet, whispers and dreams. 
Now that the seeds are together, they stir again. They are finding their voices, remembering what they are, calling out to me. So you're the key master and they're the gatekeeper, huh? Oh, will the seeds go back to sleep if they're separated? Seeds cannot unsprout, even if I ask them nicely. The seeds are together. I do not think they will want to part again. Not before crown, staff, and gauntlet are regrown. You said there's a choice. Can Archdruid Orleth uh, make you regrow the seeds? If this is the appointed season, the seeds will grow. If it is not, no power can make them act against their nature. I don't understand. Uh, do you have a choice or not? It would be wrong for Orleth to take crown, staff, and gauntlet. Bad. But it is also wrong to deny growth when the season is upon them. How can I choose between wrongs? I have not learned to do that. Hmm. Go on ahead. Free and I will meet you near Ivyhaim. Everyone here is talking. Ivyhaim? I know that place. It's to the east, on the most eastern tip of the island. Free and I will meet you there, friend. Go with Ifre. What can you tell me about Ivyhaim? Kasserain. The last druid king didn't reign from a fine palace or grand keep. Instead, he set the ivy throne in a sacred veil, Ivyhaim. It was the heart of the druid realm in the early days of Galen. It fell into ruin after Kasserain's death. Do any druid circles still use Ivyhaim? While the location rightly belongs to all druids, it was abandoned long ago. The ivy throne was sealed away after the druid king died. But druids of all circles once wandered the Vale and dreamed of the past. That is, until recently. What happened recently? Ivyhaim has always been a symbol. The Fire Song took control of the Vale when Archdruid Orlaith began to demand the sacred seeds. In hindsight, we should have seen that as the first sign of trouble. Should we leave you and Free? Uh, uh, should we leave Free here while we look for the seeds? No. That doesn't feel right. I think we should bring Free along. If Free can sense where the seeds are, they can lead us straight to them. Or tell us if Archdruid Orlaith takes the seeds somewhere else. There's another reason, too. The other reason meaning that we get killed and they take Free and then get their plans? Archdruid Orlaith has demonstrated a talent for getting what she most desires. She found the Stone Lore and Elder Tide seeds, multiple times, in fact. To protect free, to keep them safe, we need to keep them with us. It sounds more like we're walking into her trap. Meh. I knew Mesper. <laughs> All the way across the across the area here. Going as bold as you please. Orlaith is up to something. Hmm? Be careful. There are more fire song druids here than I expected. Archdruid Orlaith must be planning something big to bring this many of her circle from Ipalon. Are you sure Archdruid Orlaith and are you sure the seeds are in there and Archdruid Orlaith is in there too? Free senses the seeds within the veil. After all the trouble Orlaith caused to get them. She won't let them out of her sight. There's a door at the heart of Ivyhaim. A place of the Druid King. It hasn't been opened in centuries. Maybe she's there? Uh, what's on the other side of the door? The Ivy Throne, or so the legends say. Where the last Druid King held court. If she really seeks to become the new King, that's a good place to start. You and Free check out the door while I scout the rest of the Vale. I'll catch up with you later. All right, and I will uh, find the ivy throne then. While I take a look around at the rest of the veil, 
You and Free find the door to the Ivy Throne. It's east of here, almost to the coast. We need to find Archdruid Ornwraith and recover the Sacred Seeds. Good luck, friend. And guard Free well. Who exactly is the throne? For all my time studying the history of Druid King Kasserain, that's been one of my primary questions. Is the Ivy Throne a metaphor? Is there an actual throne? Like the one High King Emmerich sits upon? We just don't know for sure. Why don't you know? Like, it's just inside of a room. Just open the room and see. Because so many of our records have been lost. The Druids were almost wiped out a number of times in our history. And the Druid King's sanctum in Ivyhame has been sealed since his death. No one has passed through that door in countless seasons. Why? Is it, is, is it sacred or something? Just... If it can't be open, how can... How could Archer and Orlith get inside then? Yeah. We shouldn't take any chances. Orlaith has accomplished things we never expected. If she made her way to the Ivy Throne, or whatever waits behind that door, we need to find out. And Free might sense something, like they did at Cloage. Yeah, we get we get down there and the sealed door is just like There's like a pickaxe and she's just like chopped her way in. Free? What do you guys say? These ancient stones have a song of their own to sing. Memory. Mourning. A lesson to teach, yet the druids in this place do not listen. That way we must go. Where the sun rises, the seeds are not far. Okay. Let us go! Are we going to race? We're going. Oh, we're still going over here. All right. The seeds are near. Their presence calls. Be cautious. We will soon be upon them. Code. The seeds. Archdruid or Lathe approaches. Hide, friend of Laurel. Hide. Here, behind this rock. The throne hall remains closed, Archdruid. The seeds won't open the door. We've wasted enough time here. I must return to Ithalon. Use every druid we brought here and find the sower. The seeds must be regrown. I'll sit upon the ivy throne when I am crowned king. Wait, way to whisper your ultimate plan. The seeds gone. So close, but now out of reach. Arch Druid understands nothing. The seeds cannot be commanded. They must be asked, invited. I sense another song here, very old. It calls to me. Another song? What do you mean? Long ago, mortal hands taught the stones of this place a song. A promise, a greeting. Not a song for mortals, a song for me. I must look upon the door in the hillside. You mean the door to the ivory throne? Yes. The sealed door that Laurel spoke of. The door the fire song Arch Druid could not open. At the top of these steps. The song of this place calls to me. There must be a way inside. Let us find it. Let's go. Locked by ancient power. But the stones sing me the key. Find the three druid stones nearby and wake them, Laurel friend. By me. Listen to the song only I can hear. Find the three druid stones and awaken them. On the hills around us, search north, west, find, turn. Then the door will open. Open. 
for me. Song only you can hear. Old dude, how to open the sealed door then? Yes, friend of Laurel. Powerful magic anchored by druid stones. I hear them. They are not far. Find the stones and awaken them. Two north, one west. Let them know I am here. Then the door will open for me. And you think you can open the door? Uh, that archer uh, Orlith cannot? Well, of course. You're a nature spirit. You should be fine, right? The song is not for Archer Druid or Lath. It is for me. The door will not open for anyone. It is waiting for me. Come, Laurel friend. Help free awaken the Druid stones. Then we can see what else the song wants to tell me. All right, let's look. Go. Let's go find some Druid stones. The song grows louder. Mm -hmm. Oops, oh, there we go. Stone wakes too. Time to bring the lightning. Pardon me. Pardon, pardon. We're trying to go. We're trying to go through. Hey, could you move, please? Oh shoot! Burn the lava. It all burns. Everything burns now. Stop that. Going to journey the realm to save them. Oh. There. Be sad. That's totally not going to attract somebody to investigate. <laughs> hmm? Let us go inside.
Vesper, that sounds lewd. Well, where are we free? I have never been here. Yet, it feels... familiar. These stones were told to remember King Kasserain, and to wait for me. Who told you to wait? You mean the song that you heard? Yes, the song is louder in here, more insistent. It wants to fulfill its purpose, like me, like the seeds. The song is from King Kasserain's season, but it is not from the Druid King. Not exactly. You remember King Kasserain? A little. His voice calling me from the green. The song of his magic. Strong and good. He gave me into the care of the weirds before my eyes ever opened to the light of this world. They tended me while I dreamed. Until the fire song woke me. I remember. It seemed you back at High Rock, but... What do you think you'll find here, then? Understanding. I was summoned to quicken the seeds. Crown, staff, and gauntlet. But I do not know why King Kasserine made them sleep. So how can I know when to wake them? We should explore. Learn. I will follow you. Hmm. All right, let's go. The song I feel in these old stones, it comes from somewhere ahead. We should keep going. Explore. Listen. Learn. Hmm. What else can you tell me you expect to find here? I sense spirits called from the green, bound into the shapes of fawns and darker forms to defend this place. They may not know me. They have waited a very long time, forgotten themselves, and grown wild. Be careful, Laurel friend. The song calls to me. Touch the moat, Laurel friend. Welcome, Sower of the Dream. I am Avon, apprentice to the Druid King. King Kasserain bid me prepare for this day. Hmm. Follow this passage to the Ivy Throne. The Druid King's apprentice. He is the singer of the song. He will guide us. These creatures were called to protect this place. They have grown wild. Fierce. Hmm. There's something up there. Let's take a look. Look up there and murder a pawn. What happened here? Also, was that fawn? Has that fawn been stuck in here for generations? A hall within the hill, the court of the Druid King. The song is clearer now, above us, toward the rising sun. Okay.
No moat, sir. The Ivy Throne. Careful, friend of Laurel. I sense a powerful guardian nearby. Mm hmm. The song is strong here. Touch the moat and see what I see. This stone tablet records Castle Rain's final dream. Dark betrayal followed by seeds of hope. We have punished the guilty, stricken their names. To heal, we forget. But the sower must remember. Enter the garden. Come, friend of Laurel. The garden is this way. Dark Betrayal, I'm gonna guess this is from uh, Fire Song. It would make sense if the Fire Song knew the pro prophecy differently. Touch the moat, Laurel friend. I prepared a cauldron and planted three herbs in this garden. The sower knows the elixir of Ifre's thoughts. Mix, drink, and see what I saw the day the Druid King died. I am the sower, and I remember this elixir. Come talk with me, Laurel friend. The Elder foresaw this day, when I would be drawn to his song. And that I would not be alone. This elixir, it is the same as a potion the weirds used to commune with me while I slumbered. It connects the now to the then, the here to the there. <laughs> so this elixir, you know how to make it? Though I slumbered, I learned much from my time with the weirds. They would drink the elixir and commune with me. Teach, talk, listen. Gather herbs from each part of the garden, and I will create the elixir. And what's this elixir going to do? Is it going to get me uh, really high? It will show us what the Elder wants us to see. We will become a dream, a memory, and in that way, we will remember. But it is you who must drink. Only a mortal vessel can understand a mortal memory. I will see, too. Not you? exactly mortal, though. I'm a soul. I'm, I'm, we're like a soulless. <laughs> we're a soulless vampire here, so. We don't have much uh, mortality to us. Death Bell. A taste lets you dream with your eyes open. Fawn's tongue. A potent ward against evil. Foxglove. A mere pinch weakens the boundary between now and then. This is all poisonous, isn't it? Now place the herbs into the cauldron. Something else oh, is needed. Something of mine. Uh, is that sanitary? Now drink. Together, we will walk in Elder Avon's memories. Elder Avon, I need your help. The day I hoped to avert is upon us. A hunger for power will destroy everything we hope to build here in the archipelago. Now druids slay druids, fighting over a throne like the very elves we left behind on the mainland. I must end this. Where am I? Has it been so long since you served as my apprentice, Avon? That's not her name. Have you forgotten the temple of Iphelon? Never been here. Our misguided brothers and sisters defile this most hallowed place with their violence. I like violence. So, these are misguided brothers and sisters. Followers of the All Wither among the Firesong Circle. 
While most of that circle serve the cycle of creation, those who revere the All Wither worship only death and decay. They seek to seize the Ivy Throne, to lead us into an age of unending darkness. Well, are you stop the followers of the All Wither then? I must return my regalia, crown, staff, and gauntlet to Ifray. The season of the Druid King must end for now. For now. Meanwhile, we need to make preparations so my dream comes to pass. Escort me to Elder Verleen in the ritual chamber. This ends today. Evil dies tonight. Huh? Let's escort you. The ritual chamber lies to the south. Take mm -hmm. the passage that leads up. Be on your guard, old friend. The followers of the All Wither are already inside the temple. We must return the regalia to Ifray before they stop us. How are your people, or how will you return your regalia to Ifray then? From seeds with a crown, staff, and gauntlet called forth. Two seeds, we must return them. You have heard my dream, Avon. Oh, How I have the it. Sower will one day awaken once the schism that divides our people is finally mended. You dream? The Sower? Hmm? You sure you're all right, Avon? I'm not Avon. The dream is my prophecy of two futures one good, one bad. The Sower is the key. A spirit I called from the green and left in the care of the weirds. Free. You must prepare the message for them, as we discussed. So. Who is Elder Vernon? These troubled times confuse even me, my friend. Verlin is my closest counselor. A loyal fire song, all too familiar with the threat posed by those sworn to the All Wither. He is in danger, too, from those who call him a traitor to their cause. You tell me more about the followers of the All Wither? From seeds with a crown, staff, and gauntlet called forth. Oh, no. To yeah. see you sure you them. need to know more than that they are here and desire our deaths. Ah. How to stop him? Forgive me, I share your confusion. We did not guess how prevalent the All Withers' influence had become. Many powerful Firesong druids have fallen under its dark influence. What is the All Wither? A difficult question. The Firesong druids revered the great cycle of creation and destruction, death and rebirth. But those who give themselves to the All Wither see only half of this endless wheel. The dark half. They must not gain the Ivy Throne. This us? I am with you, rural friend. You are Elder Avon. And there is King Kasseran. Elder Verleen waits in the ritual chamber. The Druid King is older. Here we are. Many seasons passed since he left me with the weirds. The ritual chamber is beyond the door just ahead. In here? Okay, so we get to the shrine. Begin the ritual at once, Elder Verlin. Elder Avon, I require your assistance. If you are certain, my king, yet the I... temple of Ephalon. I hear its song. 
even in this dream. Hmm. No side quest or side uh, dialogue, I guess. Has the regalia and will begin the ritual. I hope that when I laid down my authority, when I left the throne for the forest, the shadow over our people would have passed. Now I see that more is required. Will you aid me, old friend? Okay, what do you need me to do? Remember everything you see, Haven. When the hmm? prophecy is fulfilled and a new king arises, the seeds must be brought here and blessed by the sower I spoke of in my dream. You must preserve this moment to instruct the sower. Now, go help Verlin. How do I help him? We need the light of the moons to shine upon the sacred pools in this chamber. Mara's tear and Shandar's sorrow must witness and sanctify our deeds this night. Elder Verlin can tell you what to do. I must prepare myself. As a command. I, mean, I guess those are plants and not just like people, right? Or deities. I fear the Druid King is making a mistake. These symbols are gifts from Ifre. For centuries, our kings have worn them with wisdom and mercy. I begged Kasserain not to take them from those who come after us. You're gonna betray us, aren't but you? He insists. Yeah, the Druid King said. Keep, uh, help you complete the ritual. If we must do this, then yes, we need the light of Mara's tear and Shandar's sorrow. On each side of the balcony stands a druid stone. Turn them both to face the sacred pool. That will call the light of the moons to sanctify this place. I'll turn the druid stones as you instructed. Go, Avon. Turn the druid stones and shine the light of the moons upon these pools. I'm gonna betray them. to the seeds from whence they came. Mm -hmm. that. This is folly, Kasserain. You leave me no choice. All with her, guide my blade. Yep, we saw that coming. Why, Verlin? Be gone! I banish you! Is it because of the haircut? It's because of the haircut. The haircut caused him to murder. The followers of the All Wither. More insidious than I thought. A poison blade in the hand of a trusted friend. This proves I was right. Crown, staff, gauntlet. They must return to the green. You must help me, Avon. What can I do? Gather the sacred seeds. Help me summon Erdir the Guardian. A powerful ally for the sower. A protector to ensure that only a worthy king regrows the seeds. Then... I'm listening. Give one seed to each druid circle to guard. Even to keep. Oak to Elder Tide. Rowan to Stone Law. Ash for the fire song untainted by the All Wither. Are you sure? One last thing. Go to the Ivy Throne. Seal it. No one must enter. Until the sower awakens. 
I'll take the seeds and deliver them to these circles, I guess. Thank you, my old friend. Take the seeds. Go to the center of the chamber. Touch the moat of light. How do I summon the guardian? Touch the moat to begin the summoning. I will do the rest. A deer is a spirit from the green. It will protect this place until a new druid king arises. A deer <laughs> will keep its vigil until the sower decides the season of the seeds has come again. What do Elder... What is Elder Verlin and the servants of... Yeah. What are the Elder Verlin and the servants of the Elwood there, then? Just gonna leave them out there? That task I leave in your hands. I'm just doing everything for you, aren't I? Rally the circles against those who follow the all wither. Do we have to? Them. Ah, that's more. Bind them in the mountain. No. Then let them be forgotten. It's my birthday this weekend. Do I have can to do be this? No healing while druids seek power and harm one another. I can use some ice cream or something like that just to celebrate. You're such a slave driver, Druid King. Such a slave driver. Doing all this work. What are you going to do? You're just going to be laying there. Laying there and whining about your poison. Cabbage one. Cabbage two. Cabbage three. Now, take your place. Touch the moat. And I will summon Erdir, the Guardian. Okay. No? Oh. What? I just touched the moat out here. That'll be in the water. Who's a cutie? Who's a cutie? From the then to the now. Come, let us speak of what we saw. Dream. Every. Memory. I walked with Elder Avon just as you did. I saw the one who called me from the green. Kasserain, the druid king. I understand much more now. Was not Udir the guardian wonderful? So the spirit El Elder Alvin summoned? Yeah, sort of, I guess. Wild and fierce. A spirit called from the green, like I was. It is bound to protect crown, staff, and gauntlet. The fire song risk much to awaken its anger. Maybe we can hook you up. You're both spirits, right? So, you think your guardian is still out here? Probably. Erdeer Has to be, it's a spirit. As I did. The fire song must return the seeds to the place we saw in the then. The temple of Ithalon. I know how to call Erdir. A song of defense. It is my choice. I should have all this knew about you. Does she know about the Guardian stuff? Perhaps. She may think she can bind Erdir, command it with crown, staff, and gauntlet, but King Kasserain told some spirits to make their own choices. I am one, Erdir is another. We hmm. should find Druid Laurel. She will know what to hmm. do next. Oh, find Druid Laurel. Druid Laurel studies the old lore, young yet wise. We must tell her what we learn from the Elder's memory. Let us try this passage. I sense gentle wind and open sky beyond. You kept on saying you had a choice. What do you mean? Spirits are bound to purpose. We do not change. But the purpose King Kasserain gave me was to make a choice for him. He could not know how to make the choice, so he did not bind me. I can grow. Learn. Decide. You're like an AI. Wonderful. What choice did he leave you to make? To know the worthy. 
I am the sower, but I can choose when to quicken the seeds and for whom. Let the druids turn against the druid king. We saw the same memory. The choices that led the druid king and elder Verleen to the temple are forgotten now. But I know the Allwither. It is of the green, yet it hates what it is. It hungers for what it is not. Well, if the fire song betrayed him, why give them a secret seed? Some betrayed, yeah. not all. Well, we don't Only know who. Those in the grip of the Allwither. Those are the ones that were stricken, forgotten. The rest were forgiven. I think Orlaith remembers, knows what others forgot, and so sees the dream differently. A path to power. But how can we know which ones were which? I mean. His best friend betrayed him and stabbed him in the back. Oh, where's this temple, anyways? Druid Borl talked about it. It stands on the island of Ithalon, a cathedral of the green. Long ago. Still sacred. Now we know Erdir waits there. I have never been in that place, but I remembered it in the Elder's memory. We're gonna have to go fight that manicor, aren't we? We're definitely going to have to fight that manicor. Wait, no. Can't get back in now. Ow. Hey, Red Hot, thanks for the raid. Marina's journal. Looks like it's your lucky day. There's some lockpicks. Somebody just left lockpicks in there. Fire song druids. Dead. Laurel's staff. Where is Laurel? Take the staff. Laurel friend, she would not leave it unattended. You've been captured, huh? What are you thinking, Free? I understand the pattern of what occurred. Druid Laurel was scouting, came upon these fire song druids. They fought. She was overpowered, taken away. The leaves tremble for her. So do I. So we have to find Druid Laurel? I no longer sense Druid Laurel nearby. If the Fire Song took her, they would go to Arch Druid Orlaith, to Iphalon. A ploy, I think, to capture me. What do you think we should do? I would like to see the City of Stone. Find Laurel friend Stefan. He can help us. Laurel trusts him. Likes him. I will meet you in Vestir. Laurel friend. All right, let me invest here then. Let's find Sir Stefan. I'm looking 
looking for Dame Feta. She was with the knights protecting the cathedral district during the attack. We're still sorting this all out. As soon Ah, mm. Duluth, our friend returns. But where are Laurel and Free? Oh. Stay your weapons. I bear a message from Archdruid Orlay. Very well then, speak. Bring the sower to the Temple of Iphalon. If you refuse, Orlaith will complete the prophecy with the blood of her prisoners. You wouldn't dare. Archdruid Orlaith will not be denied. Don't make her wait long. And I'm staying my weapon. We have much to discuss. You're back. Yep. And that ultimatum from Archdruid Orlaith. I thought this storm was bad before, but now it's damn near apocalyptic. We better speak to Sir Stefan, mate. Damn Orlaith and her fire song. They took townsfolk prisoner before they fled, but we weren't sure why. Now we know. She plans to use them as sacrifices. Damn her eyes. Wait, where are Laurel and Free? Didn't you bring them back with you? Uh, the fire song captured uh, Druid Laurel. Uh, they took her to Yifilon. Laurel captured? Is there no end to this outrage? Our own forces are still recovering from the siege of Vastir, but even at full strength, we'd be hard pressed to assault the fire song on their island. What of Free? Did the spirit return with you? Free is waiting in the Druid district. We saw a vision of the last Druid King's death at the Ivaham. Visions and prophecies, that's what started this chaos. If Orlais can't to reflect like your sower, father, she'll use the blood of Laurel and my people to make herself the Druid King. Tell me you found something. Give me a reason to hope. I am in sore need of it. Uh, there's a powerful guardian in Yiflon. Free believes that we can turn it against the Fire Song. A guardian? You bring mixed tidings, friend. I can't bear the thought of Laurel and Firesong hands, but if Free can help us defeat Archdruid Orlaith, I'll swear my house and life to the cause. Thank you. Perhaps we're not helpless after all. Yay! The Firesong took captives during. Green Castron. Meow. 